make a ride. I'm set the club, baby. What up, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you for watching another video. Uh, if you haven't already done so, like, subscribe, drop a comment, and whatever else you feel like doing. But today, I'm going to be showing you first before I get into actually cleaning the uh, intake valves with the uh, CRC spray. I saw vehicular DIY do it, so I'm gonna try it myself, especially with how my car's been smoking as much as it has lately um, because of these bad boys. I destroyed these things. Uh, pulled up turbos a couple days ago, whatever, because I've been tracking down the smoking. Um, there's a whole bunch of play in the shaft here, back and forth. Um, I might try to get a better view of it, but there's a whole lot of play in there, so it must, must be the uh, seal inside here. I was going to rebuild them. But I decided why not just upgrade right now while they're out, get the seal kit, get the inlets, do everything right now. So as you can see, mine is not like yours. Uh, you're probably, you probably have everything still inside here. So mine has no inlets. They are gone. Um, obviously the DCI is out with them. The turbos are out. Uh, Calier filter is out. Uh, go ahead and watch that video if you want to take that out in order to do this job. But yeah, so today I'm going to be trying to clean out my intake uh, valves because I'm pretty sure they're dirty. Um, I know that the CRC spray works pretty well, so I'm definitely going to try that out and see what happens with it. So I'm going to go ahead and start removing some stuff. My car is jacked up still. So it's going to be a little bit harder to get to the stuff. Um, and we'll see what happens. Oh, if you guys like this one and this one, I'm going to drop the link in the video again in the description so you guys can see where to get yours. Pretty cool if you're a BMW enthusiast. So let's go ahead and get to it. So first thing I'm going to be doing is removing the charge pipe, uh, removing the line off the adapter down there. Um, then I'm also going to remove the throttle body. They're all, all of these are nuts, so you'll pull off all the nuts. Only one over here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, one right down there. You can't really see it probably. I'll show you later on. Uh, is the actual bolt. So I'm gonna also remove this clip, get these hoses out the way, and we'll see how much I can actually get viewed because this is gonna be a strange way to put the camera. Let's get it.
don't know how well you guys can see it, but inside there, they are pretty, uh, pretty dirty. I don't know what that stuff is inside of it, but, uh, these valves are decently bad. Uh, let me see if I can get better light in there. So yeah, valves are pretty kicked up and gunked up, so I'm going to do my best to clean them out. That's a better angle. This one is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Front ones aren't that bad, but uh, they're still bad. So I'm gonna try to get something to help me remove the uh, spray once I put it in there. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and start working on it. Well, it is the next day. Um, I vacuumed out, sucked out the uh, CRC uh, valve cleaner out of number one uh, after like a couple hours and it didn't look like it cleaned too well. So this morning I went to Ace and got a uh, pick set or a cleaning set so I could probably like scrub it. Hopefully it comes out. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and vacuum out number one once again after a little scrubbing and then try to scrub it a little more and see what happens. So let's do that. Well, it is day three now. Day three. Um, so much for two hours or three hours. Um, did, didn't take that. Didn't take that much time. So I don't know if mine just needed a lot more soaking or mine was just so much harder cake. But a theory that I have is that the engine is supposed to be warmed up before you spray it in there so that uh, the carbon is, I guess, more malleable, or whatever the hell you want to call it. But, so I finished four cylinders. I'm going to show you guys as best as I can the cylinders and how they look. Um, the ones that I've done. Uh, I still need to do two and four. I still need to do two and four. So, let me go ahead and try to show you guys what the cylinders look like now. As per how they look before I started. So, so that's kind of how the cylinders would look before as per how they look now. Let me see if I can get the light on it. Uh, yeah, they're looking a little better uh, or a lot better. But still, I wish I could get them all shiny and everything. That's a good shot right there. Damn. So that's how they look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rotate the crank. Show you guys 22 millimeter socket. Uh, slap it on the crank. Use a bar or whatever. Whatever size you can. Rotate it. Close up the next two i could bump the starter but i do not want to ruin my starter because i've already spent enough money so anyway i'm uh, gonna go ahead and rotate the crank spray the rest in there start scraping it let it sit and maybe in another two days i'll be done and that's when my inlets will be here so i can hook everything back up let's get to it so got my 22 millimeter socket, deep well preferably, uh, half inch drive, 
So I'm just going to rotate this clockwise. And then keep rotating it until the uh, cylinder is closed. Two and four are closed. Well, after a couple of days now of it sitting, these are basically the end results. That one got pretty clean. They look all right. They're definitely better than they were before, so I'm not complaining. and this one was like the dirtiest one I can't really get to number six so all in all I would say it worked uh, not perfect of course not because I'm at like 67,000 miles so time to put back on the intake inlet should be here today and then uh, hopefully turbos will be here by like the 12th let's get it